Good evening, Council Members. Um, I haven't said anything about these bonuses, although I certainly have listened and heard a lot. Um, there's several things that puzzles me about it. And one of them is actually, in my mind, pretty simple. Between answers that Mr. Flad and Ms. Wilkie, Mr. Barlow, different people have given, either to the press or at council meetings, I'm very puzzled as to what the criteria is for these bonuses. I understand the city's position, note I said position, with the Los Angeles Times, is that releasing bonus information would be tantamount to releasing performance evaluations. And that would be personnel matters. But I also have heard, and I've heard it more than once, right here, that not everyone who gets an excellent or exceptional performance review gets a bonus. Which tells me that it isn't simply the performance review that determines who gets a bonus. So my question is, and I don't think we've addressed this, at least I certainly haven't heard an answer. What is it? What is the policy, the practice, the procedure that determines who gets a bonus? Um, some of our city's employees have actually been saying to the public the same thing. That one year they'll get an exceptional review, no bonus. Another year they get an exceptional review, they get a bonus. And when asked, a number of them have been very honest, they have no clue as what, to what determines when you get a bonus. But they do know it isn't an exceptional review. Now as I've heard that, I think back to comments I've even heard about this subject right here. Because those comments have also said that it is not that everyone who gets an exceptional or an excellent review gets a bonus. So that leaves me with the question, as I've listened to this and I've read about this over the weeks, what is the, the criteria that determines who gets the performance evaluation review bonus? Because clearly it isn't simply the evaluation. There has to be some discretion to it. And if there's discretion to it, above and beyond, I think that's part of what everyone's wanting to know, including the Los Angeles Times. Um, Molly Shore, I think, made a very good point about the wisdom of giving the bonuses at all. And, and I completely agree with that point. I do think that it's horrendous that through the budget um, study sessions and through the budget, I never once heard you as council members told that $2 million in that budget was for these bonuses. In fact, sitting here as this first came up, it almost seemed to me that most of you, if not all of you, had no clue that that was, in the bon that was actually in that budget and you voted to approve it. And I've got an issue with that. I really do. Because you were told all the shortfalls and all the things we needed to cut. But I don't think you were told that that money was there and earmarked. And I've got to add to that that when I've heard comments from that side of the dais to the public, well, we could have given over $2 million in bonuses, and we only gave a million one hundred thousand something like that. I mean, that's pretty poor logic, if you ask me. Because when you think about it, Molly Shore mentioned the kids after school program. Think about park patrol. Think about any number of things that could have been saved with that $2 million. And since we only spent $1 million of it, What's happening to that remaining million that you approved that's sitting there? Where is that going? I think there's something really flawed with our entire budget process. And I really question how we're saying to the LA Times with a straight face and to the public that this would be tantamount to releasing a performance review, a performance evaluation, when clearly it's sounding to me, even from staff's own answers, that there's something above and beyond that that factors in to what determines who gets these bonuses. And I think we need to stop hiding what the real factors are. Um, lastly, before I run out, um, Mr. Garrison mentioned that he really wants to make a CD with...